So in this video, I'm going to attempt to fix up this Blackwing long point sharpener. This is a sharpener that I used to really like because it's uh, good looking, it's all metal, it contains its own shavings, which is nice, and uh, it's comfortable to use, it's nice to keep on the desk. But over the past couple of months, it's really degraded in performance. And right now it's really, I would say underperforming and it's just not a very good sharpener at its you know, 25 or some odd dollar price level. You could see this pencil, it was, uh, you know, nearly cracked over here and it's kind of rough. You could see right here, there are some just outright gouges being taken out of it. You can see there's just some, some gouges here and there is kind of like, uh, clearly the shavings or the dust from the graphite has gotten all over it. It just didn't do a very good job. So it used to be better. I know some people have a problem with this uh, sharpener as a whole because of similar issues, but mine was never really terrible uh, and it's gotten worse. So I'm going to try to see what I could do to fix it up. This is sort of the inner workings here. There's nothing here. This is just a, a metal, like I guess an aluminum cup, essentially. This is just a ring that holds down this piece and stabilizes it in the center like that. And now we have the actual business end of this. And we see a, a single blade here held in place with this little Phillips sort of machine head. And uh, yeah, that's really it. It's doesn't appear to be loose. It could obviously have dulled over time. Like I, I use it a fair bit. I wouldn't say I use it enough that it would dull it, uh, but whatever, that is possible. So the first thing I'm gonna do is attempt to tighten it down. It doesn't appear to have loosened at all. So I could tell just from turning it here, I'm cranking it, it's not getting down any tighter. So <laughs> loosening it wouldn't, I would guess wouldn't, wouldn't help, right? Just like making it wobbly. That's not something I'm gonna try, but I'm gonna take it out now and this is the little nut that holds it in place. I'm going to replace the blade with another blade I have. And luckily I have this. This is uh, another long point sharpener. This is a, I think it's made by Coom, but they it's also sold as the black wing long point sharpener, like a bunch of companies, just kind of white label this one, but it is made by Coom. Mine broke here, but held in place with some shipping tape and then it includes that extra blade here. Not entirely sure how to get it out. Okay, so you just need to apply a little pressure this way to get the blade out. Here is the coom blade. I'm hoping it is interchangeable with this blade, this blade looks like it's called a something B, I guess that's for Blackwing. They're roughly the same size. The Coom blade has more depth to it, but uh, I'm gonna try it out. We'll see if it works in the Blackwing. If it doesn't work, then obviously try something else. You can see evidence of its poor performance here. It broke off a tip at the end there. So, coom blade. It appears to be slightly lifted there. And then perhaps a little bit too big, but you can see the whole uh, it doesn't perfectly align. When I'm looking straight at it, you could see it's not a perfect circle because the blade is slightly too wide, I guess, but I'm, I'm gonna just give it a shot and see what happens. The, the way the bolt works in here, or the little screw works, is it should be able to get through. Yeah, and then I will put this nut in place and tighten it down. Mm -hmm. 
and hopefully this will flatten out that profile there. Yeah, it did. Okay, so good to go. It applies a slight, slight curvature to it, which will add a little bit of curve when you're sharpening the pencil, which is totally fine. I don't have any problem with that. Okay, move this to the side. This blade, the old blade, you can resharpen with some like, uh, you know, fine grit sandpaper or whatever, or like a an auto wet dry sharpening stone or something like that. You could definitely do that, and I probably will do that. But that'll be time. There'll be time for that in another video. For now, we'll just focus on getting this sharpener up to snuff. Of course, the downside is that I'm taking a potential blader on this sharpener, which I really like, and it's a much better sharpener, but I, this one was expensive, and uh, this one's probably due to be replaced. So I'd rather get this one going than extend the life of this one that I maybe is like 5 or $6, something like that. Okay, so again, here's the reference. This is a Pen Plus Gear number two HB, whatever. And here I have another Pen Plus Gear number two HB from the same pack that I will attempt. This one is unsharpened so far. So here goes. So you can probably tell from the audio that this isn't sharpening. It is hit a point right now where clearly it's going around and around, but the blade is just not engaging with it. Pencil is a little bit out of true. Probably see right here, it's a little bit bowed. So maybe that's causing it, but I really doubt it. I think something here with the blade is just a little bit off so have to assess whether it's the blade not installed properly or it is this blade is just not compatible with the uh this little holder here you can see a little bit of daylight there uh, maybe that's just a reflection actually yeah it's just a reflection and i could tell it is clogged right here so the extra width of this blade might just mean that it can't get into this little area right here. So it's getting clogged and it's not sharpening. That's why just spinning and spinning and spinning without touching the blade. So I think that means this was not the right blade for this sharpener, but that's fine. Okay, so we have the original, the Coom, and now we'll try, that's another Coom, not ideal. This is an, you could probably just make it out in M plus R. I forgot the name of that company, but we will try this one. Okay, this looks, might be a little hard to make it on video. This looks quite close. Okay, so it's a little, it's a little hard to make out. I'll try to line these up and hold them in one hand. This new blade from the Amplistar Sharpener is a little bit taller. You see it's just a fraction of a millimeter taller. So, the put that to the side we'll get the coom and we'll attempt to put that next to the m plus r 
And okay, so the coom is even a little bit taller than the M plus R. So put the coom to the side back there. And now we are going to attempt to use the M plus R. And this one we know that it is that one because there's no branding on it. The other two, I believe, has some sort of branding on it. Okay, so now this little area here is there's that gap is a little bit more pronounced. So I hope that means we will be able to get a little bit better sharpening action out of this. But if you sharpen it for a few turns and then it stops sharpening, you know that we know what the problem is. screwdriver has a slightly magnetic tip so it's helpful sometimes and a problem the rest of the time okay now good okay this one will do out just to see what happens and yeah now we could see just some nice shaving performance. Why do we know that? Because it is doing a nice long shave with, uh, you could see some kind of holes in the shaving. That's pretty good. And it's not tearing. Again, very good. It's turning uh, relatively easily. This isn't, it wasn't a new sharpener for the record. So uh, I cannot say exactly how long I've had it, but it's not really been a popular one that I use. So I think it's in at least okay shape. Go a little faster here. My hand is getting a little tired holding this holder. It's one of the reasons you have it in this like nice aluminum cup so that your hand doesn't get exhausted and covered in graphite when you're sharpening it and yeah it's still this is still going as a single strand that's quite nice and i don't know if this one has a good backstop like will this keep sharpening indefinitely so you don't want to uh keep going Okay, you know, it's broken. So let's just pull it out. We'll see what happens. And yeah, now we have... It's a nice point. Better than before. You know, still a little bit of tearing. That's my, my fault as I stopped it prematurely. But uh, nice point. You see that slight, slight concavity to it. That's from the roundness of the blade that happens again. I mean, you can see it right here, slightly concave, concave. You tighten the screw down and it bends the blade just a little bit. So clearly that angle is reflected here, right? It's slightly concave, concave, slightly concave. So pretty cool. Again, this piece right here is my fault and we could attempt to clean that up. The lighting is a little bit off, clearly with the white background, but you get it. Quite nice, smooth, and that's a nice respectful handling of a nice pencil like this. Let's put this back together. Put this back together. And we will see what else is around. Okay, so now is the final test. For this, we'll be using a Tombow Recycled pencil. This is just a kind of standard 2B. I like these a lot, a little softer, very nicely made. They come in a package like this. Yeah, I think they're just called the Tombow Recycled pencil. 
Uh, I like these a lot, so I think this will be a good test. Nothing too fancy, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so now we are partially sharpened, and I could tell you, and you could tell from the audio, that it's still sharpening. So that means that this isn't clogged, and the gap between the blade and the body of the sharpener, like the sharpener holder, or the blade holder, I guess, is sufficiently wide to spot it, despite it not being the blade that came with this sharpener. My hand's getting a little tired. I've sharpened a few pencils at this point, but I will persist. Okay, so where are we at now? Still a little bit of roughness here. Some of that will be due to the pencil itself, but we see a nice angle, obviously a very nice pointy pencil there. Uh, you know, a little bit of tearing here, but uh, on the whole, better than before. I don't think it's still not a great sharpener, but at least now it is improved and I think that blade helps a little bit but I'm <clears throat> so I think that blade helps a little bit but I'm gonna keep testing and see if we could find uh, an optimum blade for this one it may just be that I need to get this original blade and sharpen it up and that's kind of all it's gonna take but maybe it'll be just tweaking this blade I I'm not really sure yet but we'll see how it goes so anyway stage one of improving this Blackwing long point sharpener.